They say that where there is light, there must be shadow. Therefore, in love, there must be heartbreak. I think when we imagine love, we don't ever anticipate how it would feel to have it taken away. And no one really knows the feeling until it actually happens. There's going to be days where you feel fine, and other days where it feels like the world is against you, that no one could ever understand your pain. And when this happens, I think it's important to let yourself feel as hard as you can. Not only to remind yourself that you're still capable of experiencing emotions, but also to know exactly how you never want to feel again. It's a beautiful thing that even in our worst moments, we're still able to experience the world so deeply and not become numb to the things around us, as much as we sometimes want to. There's not much beauty in the pain itself, but never take for granted our abilities to take that and transform it into something beautiful. When we're hurt and confused, it's easy for our minds to run to the worst. We dwell in our own insecurities, our own wrongdoings, but it's important to have trust. Trust that you'll learn lessons that you would have never learned otherwise, and truly understand how it feels to heal and to be healed. In this generation, it's easy to prove to people that we've healed instead of actually doing it. But healing is not a competition. It's a process, and our egos are nothing if we don't have the wholeness in ourselves to hold it up. I think when we end a relationship, our hearts break for the security and the certainty that we have with this person. It was a future that felt safe, and now you're left to face the unknown. But the truth is, I don't think we should be afraid of the things that are uncertain in our lives, but more so the things that are because those are the things that we can't change. And now more than ever, we should embrace change. But most importantly, we should give ourselves time. Time to just heal. Because we don't want to ever let someone hurt us so bad that we become cold to the world and end up hurting someone who's never done anything wrong to us. And time to figure out where we might have went wrong. Not only in the things that we've done, but also in the things that we've allowed. And finally, time to find ourselves again, and find our people again. And depending on your situation, let go accordingly. In the event that it was love, then remember that love is not possessive. And when you love someone, you love them for who they are, not for what they could be for you. And sometimes when you love someone, you also have to love the things that are best for them, even if it's not you. Because sometimes, nothing says I care about you more than trusting that they can be something better than they ever were when they were with you. But in the case that it wasn't, at least now you understand what love is not.